Hey guys, it's the Wood Baron. Uh, yeah, no, I have not done a commentary over Battlefield Bad Company 2 in a hell of a long time. Uh, main reasons for it, haven't felt up to it. Uh, I haven't actually been playing. I've been extremely busy with, well, moving, getting back to work, and now i got school coming up in 10 days. And uh, I've never been to a post-secondary school, so this is a big change for me, I would have to say. And I'm quite nervous, shocked, stunned, whatever you want to say, about doing this. Um, but basically, this the gameplay that I'm talking over is uh, some uh, squad team deathmatch I had with uh, OJ and Keith Berry a couple weeks back. Um, it was okay. It wasn't the best of my gameplays. Uh, I also all of, I had a bunch of issues with my computer. I lost the hard drive. I lost. I think it was about 20 hours of gameplay that I was going to use for commentaries or just random shit. And I lost it all. So I'll be talking over this one since this is one of the few I actually have saved on my computer now since I've had to start from scratch. Uh, I had a bunch of I issues with my PVR at the same time getting it set up to work again. For some reason it just didn't want to work for about a week. Uh, it wasn't broken. It was just something. The program kept fucking up on me. It would uh, wouldn't sense the PVR, and when it did, it would freeze on my computer, shit like that. I finally got it all sorted out. It was just some stupid uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Software glitch. I had to basically just reinstall it a few times and then change some settings on my computer that were uh, just counteracting it. Anyways, yeah, I'm just rambling now. I'm Ugh, work stressful, tiring, uh, not getting much sleep, so whatever. So you can see why I'm just rambling, because I can't think straight. Anyways, the main reason I wanted to actually do this commentary is because I kind of want to talk about my thoughts on Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3. Ugh, big threes, even though it's only two of them. I'm not a, I am not a fan of the uh, Call of Duty series anymore. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 it put it left a sour taste in my mouth I can't play it, I can't go near it can't watch gameplay of it it just gives me a fucking headache uh, yeah now watch me get my ass kicked here since I can't, oh no wait never mind, I got the pistol kill oh this is later on I get my ass kicked, anyways anyways, Call of Duty, sour taste in my mouth I cannot play it anymore uh, Black Ops, I gave it a try I lasted less than two months I literally just went, this game fucking sucks. I couldn't get online on it. Everything from lag to just boring gameplay. Like it was the same shit every fucking game. Sorry for my language, guys. But really, it was that despicable to me. So, <sighs> Modern Warfare 3, I basically am not going to get it. I, If they had like a beta or an alpha or anything just to test it and give me a chance... Yeah, sure, I'd go try it out. But I'm not putting my hard-earned money onto it. And there's no way I'm buying it. Not at all. If someone gives it to me, sure, I'll play it. If I can borrow it from someone, sure, I'll play it. But if I have to pay for that shit, I am not going to be a happy fucking camper. And, yeah, I can don't camp, that's for sure. I haven't gone camping this summer at all. As you can see from this gameplay, I, I think this is the most camping I do is right this fucking minute sitting in this house and it doesn't last very long I think about 25 seconds in total but as you see I, I am not very happy with the Call of Duty series I am not getting it and I won't pay for it but on the other hand Battlefield 3 <laughs> the Battlefield series has never left a bad taste in my mouth I mean there has been its disappointments I didn't like uh, I don't know 1943 it pissed me off at times it had its issues that I just I couldn't get into it. I liked it as it was entertaining at times, but it was boring for the most part. So it's the one out of the series that I'm not a big fan of, but I still enjoy the rest of the series. I've played everything from the early ones. Or wait, was I talking about 19? Yeah, no, that's right. The earlier ones, Battlefield 2 and all that stuff, I was into. I loved it. I still do. I love the old Battlefield Vietnam, the original. It was one of my favorites. Um, <laughs> but still, like, I don't have a really good PC right now. Like, I can't run Battlefield 3 at all. 
so I'll be getting it for the Xbox. But I am going to be uh, <coughs> building a PC in the next few months, so I will be getting Battlefield 3 for the PC. And uh, I'm getting really sick of hearing people talk about PC versus consoles and shit like that. Like I get, we all already know this game was built for the PCs. All its main features are for the PC. Consoles is just is a bastardized version. Like, C Bad Company 2 is built for the console. That's why it seems to run better on console, except for graphic-wise. It runs better on PC, but there are less issues than I've, from what I have understand. But I'm not 100% sure on that, since I don't really have enough... I own it for PC. That's a really funny part. Because I own Battle uh, Bad Company 2 for PC, I just can't fucking play it. Funny, eh? Yeah, as they would say, cool story, bro. Um... Fuck, I'm just rambling. I'm rambling, rambling, rambling. Uh, anyways, as I was going to say, I I am going to get Battlefield 3. I am pre-ordering it. I have not yet. Um, another thing that's funny is I got uh, I got invited to the, to the Alpha Trials. And um, I didn't do the Alpha Trials because, as I said before, I don't have a PC that can run it. So as I was signing up for the P the uh, alpha trials, they scan your computer while you're doing like signing up, and at the end of it, it says, "Well, you you've been denied because of this 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 and this requirement." It was all to do with the PC, so I was just like, "Okay, well at least I got invited to it. I don't really care. I'll watch the videos that do get posted because I know there 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 are going to be people that post them. You're not allowed to post them, so that's why if you watch the alpha coverage, they have their names blocked out." on the kill street and the kill feed and all that shit so you don't know who they really are even though it's not extremely in impossible for EA to actually hunt you down th through the YouTube and Google and all that shit like it's not impossible like it's a big network for them like if they go through Google and bring in lawsuits and shit but mostly Google will just take it off YouTube and say oh hey you can't watch this video and I think they did that for a couple. I think there's still a few up. Anyways. Oh, I keep rambling. I just want to talk about Battlefield 3. Like, I'm... A lot of the features that, like, uh, gameplay on Conquest for uh, Caspian Border, quite insane. I would have to say that it just made me feel so warm inside watching it. Um, uh, I am t kind of terrified for the amount of vehicles in the game. Uh, not because uh, there's a lot and it's overwhelming for my small brain. It's more or less that I am worried that it's just going to be turned into vehicle whoring and everybody's sitting at spawn waiting for some tank that they love or my big worry is that everyone's going to be sitting around trying to fight for a fucking jet or blowing up other people that are trying to get into the jets instead of doing sabotaging their own teams and then basically losing the game or something. I'm I rather I rather just play to win, but I'm just that's the only those were my worries is that the vehicle horn. On that, I'm fucking stoked. Like, like I'm really happy that they're putting like the ability to search for servers in the console version. Like that is that is very cool. That's a very cool thing. Um, shows that they're coming a long way, and they've taken a lot of our suggestions that they've put. Um, that we've said on forums and stuff or in YouTube videos and so on and so forth about how we wish we had the ability to search for our own servers instead of having to be stuck in a random server that could just for some uh, ping spike we all of a sudden get shoved in some uh, server across the sea and all of a sudden we're just lagging out and crapped out like honestly that's just I'm that just made me so happy that they've actually gone and done this um, put a server search ability in the console versions. Uh, that just makes me very happy. Yeah, I've said it uh, over and over again. I'm sorry I'm rambling. I'm, in a really, I'm just really tired. I have to go take catch a plane tomorrow and just go see a friend of mine for the weekend and I'm just really stressed out because it's something to do with the email and stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Anyways, this is the end of the video. I didn't do great. I didn't do bad. Uh, I believe I was second on highest on my team. I haven't really watched the video in a week. So, uh, you'll find out in a few seconds. Yeah, no, I didn't do too bad. Oh, I was on top on my squad. We did lose, but whatever. Shit happens. I'm not going to complain too much. Anyways, this has been the Wood Baron. 
You guys have a great fucking day. I'm going to grab a beer.